Uh, hey, yo, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another installment in the Tawa Podcast. I'm your host, Atawa. And this is, like, episode 9 or something. I don't really remember. Um, anyway, today, like, it's, 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 it's currently, it is Saturday, the 6th of July, at 6.32pm and 30 seconds. Um, I'm not in the mood to record a video, so the cool thing about, about, like, having a podcast or whatever, one of the main reasons I started it is because, say, like, if I look and feel horrible and groggy and sick, and I am literally not in the mood to record myself, then at least I still need to record my voice, which is what I'm doing. Um... Uh, anyways, so because it is Saturday, the 6th of July, I mentioned this in my previous video, but school is finally out. Um, that is totally epic. It is now the beginning of the school holidays, which is pretty, like, radical to be honest. Because, I mean, y'all remember that video that I made months ago back in February, and I was talking about my first ever day at high school? Well, now we're finally halfway through the year. There you Isn't that epic? I know, right? It's, it's totally awesome. Um, so yeah, school holidays started. I, this was actually an amazing term, to be honest. Um, I ended yesterday, the last day of school, with a bang, of course. Um, I wanted to tell you guys about it. So, basically, it was, like, an average day. Actually, no, it was not an average day at school. I mean, the timetables were the same, right? But, we just played video games all day, basically. Well, mostly. Like, in math class, um, the math teacher, dude, he's nice. Um, he said that because we did such great work, then we get to go on our computers and go on cool math games. And so, we just did... Well, the other kids probably did. I don't know. I don't care about what the other kids do. I did some coding. Um, I love coding. You know how I always have, like, those phases of, like, not real, yeah, phases of just things that I'm hyperfixated with for a few days. And then I stop being hyperfixated with, and then a few months later, they come back. Oh, that's coding for me right now, my current obsession. Um, so if you guys actually, like, look at my... But uh, Tawa's portal is links to it like everywhere in the descriptions and on my channel page, uh, the homepage. Then you can click on one of those things and you can see that it's updated a lot. It took me a long time. It's actually quite hard to do coding from scratch. I started getting into coding a few years ago um, with this with this book thing that I found um, online. A few years ago, I was just randomly interested in coding. Um, wait, that's not the point of this video. I should get back to the central top topic and then digress back into coding later. Um, anyways, so yeah, my school day, I did some coding in math class. And then we had science. Science was pretty cool because we were doing this thing where we, uh, we had, it was kind of practical work to sum up the, like, friction work that we've been doing. We've been learning about friction and stuff, I guess. At the start of the term, we learned about biodiversity, but then we, we switched to friction. And so, basically, to finish it all, all off, or whatever, um, we had to get into little groups. Preferably groups of threes or fours. And we had to work together to make this kind of traditional Maori drill. Um, handheld drill. Pulling drill. It's like a stick with a sharp end. has rocks attached to it. And you pull the string at the top and then it drills like it spins and that's how it drills so our task was to make one of those in our groups with like little skewers and sticks and stones and tapes and strings and all of that kind of stuff um i however i realized that i don't actually have that many friends anymore um but that's all right mainly i just talk to my my immediate family um, my friend Zara has been away from school for, like, at least a month. I haven't talked to her that much. Um, and also she's not in my class. Any of my classes. She was in my Japanese class, but I don't have Japanese class anymore. 
actually no that's a lie we have I have Japanese next room um anyway so yeah um anyways I got I I was I actually I ended up working in pairs with this really nice girl in my class her name's Brooklyn um we didn't really talk at all but hey guess what we were actually the best group we actually won the entire contest like because like it was actually a contest to see who could build like the best drill ever and like yeah Brooklyn and I we, di we didn't really talk but somehow we just had like we had a shared idea of what to do you know I pulled up my um computer and we looked at um reference images together and then like we were we both took turns at constructing it uh ended up being the best one having the best design we got five points for teamwork and five stars for design um all of the other kids some of them got like twos a couple of them got fives um but we were the only group that got two fives that's an automatic win for us but then to find to like finalize our victory um we had to see who could spin the drill for the longest um my buddy Brooklyn, she she was an excellent spinner. She, like, um, when all of the other kids were spinning their drills, they were just getting like like one, two, like six seconds, the highest, like the max. Um, but then when Brooklyn spun it, she spun up for like thirty something seconds, and it just kept going on and on and on. And it got to the point where the science teacher she she got like, um, we got tired of like counting or whatever, so she just wrote on the board infinite. And then we got first place so like you know and and it got to the point where like our science teacher she literally asked me um have you made one of these before that was epic and i was just like no i haven't and yeah that was it and we got two chocolates each i don't really like chocolate though i mean it was this kind of um, pop and candy, which usually I would love pop and candy, but I don't really like eating that much. Um, and like, I only really like kinder chocolate as well. So I just gave my, um, my victory prize of the two chocolates, the two pop and chocolates to my mother and she, she really liked them and she thanked me for that. So that's nice. Um, and that was science class. And then we had, we were given like sandwiches or something for lunch. I don't really like sandwiches. Well, actually, no. I talked about this in my last podcast episode, I think. But, like, I told you guys my favorite sandwich ever. It's the only sandwich that I actually enjoy eating. Um, so I did not have the school sandwich. Um, there was also shortbread cookies. But, like, I, I'm actually kind of sick of the school shortbread cookies. Because, like, like, two weeks ago, I think, we were given, like shortbread cookies like a bunch or just so with the school lunches right we always get given like it's a main it's, it's like the main meal and then there's like fruit and then there's some kind of like sweet or I, like other kind of confectionery sweet savory sort of thing like sometimes sometimes it could be like muffins like mini muffins or brownies or blondes wait blondie blondies blondes i forgot blondies i think um or shortbread cookies anzac cookies or like chips or crackers or mini pikelets um and like a few weeks ago like they were always served in like kilogram bags right um and like a few weeks ago i just kept like i I hadn't eaten in like a really long time and then I just kind of like and it's embarrassing to say but I did end up like devouring like a dozen of those shortbread cookies and then I had a workout and then I felt sad afterwards um and like I kept doing that like for ages it's annoying I don't like it it's hard to control I'm 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 I I don't want to be ashamed to admit my weaknesses, but yeah, so now I'm sick of that and now I just don't eat the school lunches. I much prefer to have warheads instead. Pack my own warheads. Oh, gum. Gum is nice. Uh, I've also started packing a water bottle in my bag so that I could stay hydrated, I guess. Um, and that was that. And then we had English in the library and English was fun. Um, because, you know, I always say this, but my English teacher, Mr. Ladder, he's the best. Um, 
and we were supposed to be doing coloring in or like playing games or whatever but I didn't want to do that so instead I just sharpened all the pencils and I spent the entire period doing that. At the end of the lesson Mr. Ladder said that he really appreciates that I did that and that made me feel happy. Um, I've been thinking about that interaction for a long time. Well, and by a long time, I mean one day. This was yesterday. Um, and anyways, then we had social studies. Social studies was fun. Um, I just played on my computer and did coding the entire time. Because I wasn't actually paying attention to what we were supposed to be doing. But it was probably something to do with countries. I don't know. Um, and then we had an assembly. But I was zoned out the entire time. And then we had fashion class. Fashion class is one of my most favorite classes. It is so cool. Um, and I just did some drawing. We were doing fashion drawing. And that was nice. And then we watched, so, well, like, it was a movie playing on the background. But I don't really enjoy watching movies that much. And yes, I know that I made a movie video. While, actually, yeah. Speaking on my top five movie video that I made a while ago. I don't know how or why I forgot this. But Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Literally one of my favorite movies. How could I forget that? Elvira is so cool. Literally an icon. I want to be Elvira when I'm older. That's like one of my main life goals. Um, anyways, we're, oh yeah, that's right. Fashion class. And then that ended... And right before the day left, I need to go into product design class to get my passive amplifier. And I was so excited because I had painted it pink and black. Well, mainly pink with a bit of black. And I was so happy and so excited to take it home and it would match my room because of all of the pink. And the reason I'm talking about how I was so excited to see all the pink on it that I had painted on it was because when I, when I got to product design class right at the end of the day, it was no longer pink. Um, I think that the product design teacher did not like the pink, and so he, he, I think he painted it black. Well, someone painted it black anyways, and that made me feel kind of sad, because, I mean, yeah, I know, like, a lot of people do assume that black is my favorite color, you know, because, like, I'm emo or whatever, but, like, no, pink is my favorite color, and because my passive amplifier is completely black now, it does not match my room. My room is pink, it is glittery, well, my vanity is. The rest of my room isn't. But my vanity is pink. And my passive amplifier was designed to go onto my vanity. And it's not pink. It's not glittery. And that makes me sad. Um, but that's okay. I'll just repaint it. I found these really old paints at the back of my wardrobe. And, like, they're metallic and they're rainbow. Like, a rainbow assortment of them. I actually got them in, like, 2022. Because I was, uh, so for some reason my school was doing this thing, like, they do this thing, my old school, where, like, at the end of the year they give out, like, little Christmas presents to everyone. But, like, they, it's not just, like, a singular present to, like, all the students. It's actually just, like, a massive box full of, like, the, the most randomest stuff ever. And that's given to, like, two students per class. I think. I don't remember. And I was chosen for one of that, and one of the things in it was, like, you know, um... There were Christmas lights as well, and, um, the metallic paints, which I just found. Um, and then there was also, like, some kind of, like, like, loofers and the other things. There were, like, random hygiene pro. I don't really remember it. That was, like, two years ago. Um, anyways, yeah, and then school ended, and then I gulped down another can of Monster, and that was delicious. I really enjoyed that. And then I felt like I was going to pass out as I was doing some roller skating. And then I went inside, had a shower, and we made steak for dinner, which was tasty. I enjoyed that. And yeah, that was how I kicked off my holiday, like the end of school, basically. Um, this, this podcast episode was about to be my plans for the holidays, but whatever... Oh, yeah, that's right. I was supposed to talk about coding. So, yeah, coding's been going really well. I enjoy it. It's been the only thing I've been thinking about. Today, I woke up at five, did some coding, went back to sleep. I couldn't go back to sleep, so I did some coding, and then I woke up at six. It's a Saturday. 
that's all right. Um, and then I drank some black coffee, and then I had a can of monster, and then I I got sushi for lunch. That was tasty. And yeah, that was that was that was it. I guess. Um. What else? I forgot. Uh, anyways, what else should I talk about? Oh yeah, that's right, my plans for the holidays. My plans for the holidays, um, it's going to be like two weeks. I'm not exactly doing that much. Um, my brother's coming back, uh, next weekend, I think, on Friday. And, like, we're going to go out for lunch. It's going to be nice, I'm going to meet his girlfriend. She seems like a lovely lady. And we're gonna have a very, very fun time. And then, um, yeah, that's, that's like the only special thing we're doing. Uh, actually, no, my father and I, sometime we're gonna go to the gym. And by sometime, I mean any days that are available. Although I'm kind of sick, I'm hoping to recover so that I can go back to the gym. Because that is so fun. Um... And yeah, no, I'm I'm not really doing anything. Actually, no, I went thrifting today, and I bought this really cute shirt. Well, it wasn't really actually a shirt. It it's more of like a hoodie, but like a hoodie with a texture shirt. It it um it'll be much easier to explain if like I actually like a picture of it. But it's in the wash right now. Um, but it's. It's it's a long sleeve. Sh it it it's it's rainbow and it has stripes on it. It's black and rainbow. There's a bunch of stripes. A zipper, long sleeves, very thin, and it has a hood on it. And I really like it. It's so cute. Um, it fits me perfectly. And I'm gonna wear it when it's out of the wash, which it'll be pretty cool to wear, given that I usually in my videos I've noticed. Like, I'm literally only either wearing my Pete's Cat shirt or my grey zip-up hoodie, the striped one. And that is all I've been wearing in my videos. So I hope with with this new hoodie thingy, zip-up hoodie, that I'd, it'll give me another thing to wear. Another thing that I will be able to put over my pyjamas so that I can record a video and not be in my pyjamas. Well, actually, no, I don't, my, technically my pizza cat shirt is, like, actually, like, a pajama shirt for me, because, like, I don't exactly wear it out. I'd love to wear it out, but my mom said no. Um, oh yeah, that's right, we have pumpkin soup for dinner today. We just had that, it's, it was delicious. We also had spaghettios, like spaghetti pizzas, mini spaghetti pizzas. I only had one because I felt sick. And then I had some pumpkin soup, which was tasty. I love pumpkin soup. It is one of my most favorite things ever. If you want the recipe to my pumpkin soup, then check out one of those pumpkin soup videos that I've made. Or <laughs> go on to my website that I called just Tartless Portal. I've mentioned this earlier in the podcast. There's links to it everywhere, basically, on my channel. Just go there, scroll down, or use the epic sidebar to navigate through the website and find the thing that says pumpkin soup recipe. Click on that, and then you will finally find my most epicest pumpkin soup recipe. Um, and also, I'm absolutely in love with my Black Girl Bride CDs. They're my favorite things ever, and I want to talk about them more, because I love them so much. Like... I, they're on my vanity now, on full, perfect display. Because, like, you see, I've always loved my vanity, right? But I love it even more now that I just get to look down at the cover for Set the War on Fire and see Andy Biersack. I love, I, 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 I love my vanity one million times more now because of that. Um, this podcast is about to end now. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest updates. Bye-byes!